All right, Versus Vaughn here with another video, and in this one, we're going to be taking a look at another one of the older uh, Burn the Witch units, the Burn the Witch Bruno. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. If you do, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, you have been here for a while, subscribe. I want to get to 350 subscribers. Now, with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. So, as you can see, this Burn the Witch Bruno, he is a power unit with two killers, Soul Reaper and a Wrecker. Pretty great killers, in my opinion. My Bruno is max percentage, so all of the extra stats that you can see here are level 10, and I have the plus 500 SP in the last slot here. As for the Soul Trait, it's the typical Strong Attack Recharge Time minus 12% Soul Trait. You'll see this on most SP units. Range unit with weakening on all of his attacks. Uh, he has a 50% chance to dodge Soul Reaper damage, which is good. Sprinter plus 2, and last ditch survival are his innate skills. Come down here, he has Havoc at 20%, Frenzy and Bombardment are at plus 1, Defibrillator plus 5 seconds, Poise, Sharpshooter, and hit Hidden Enemies. And uh, yeah, these older units, they don't have a lot of skills, but they do have some good um, skills that are really great. Uh, the Bombardment is always good, so Bomb will do lots of damage. Frenzy only at plus 1, and most units nowadays have Frenzy plus 2, and there are a couple units with Frenzy plus 3, and Havoc 20%, you know, is just really something all SP units should have. And hit hit enemies is also a nice bonus. So that's it for his skills. Uh, as for the build that we're going to be using, the Kamari Fortification Pill and the Katakoran. And as for the character link system, strong attack reduction and full stamina damage boost links, as you can see here. Bonus abilities are the full stamina damage boost and the plus 200 SP. So that's it for the character's build, skills, and bonus abilities. Let's go ahead and jump into some content to see what this unit can do. Alright, so here we are in a co-op IT. It is currently no affiliation enemies this time around, so this unit will not have killer. And since he doesn't have a uh, killer, you know, just a pretty old unit like this, having killer would definitely be, you know, just better. But since he's max percentage, he really won't need it that much because, you know, that extra plus 500 SP that you get, you know, just for being max percentage is pretty noticeable. And since we're not going up against Soul Reaper enemies, uh, he really won't be able to take advantage of that uh, dodge. Soul Reaper hits 50%, which is unfortunate as well. He's also not immune to any status elements, so you have to watch out for any status elements that's on the ground for, you know, whatever IC you are in. Uh, we lost our full stem there, so we can take a look at what this unit can do without his full stamina damage boost. Oh, uh, wait, but we got it back. Now when it comes to the power attribute, I do mention this a while, but I think the power attribute is definitely probably the strongest attribute in the game just because, you know, we have this Momo here in the Yumi Chica. The Momo has a boost on her SA2, and I do believe she has the Enhancer skill as well. So, you know, her boost will just, you know, have an even stronger effect with that. And the Yumi Chica, he increases your movement speed by 30% and strong attack damage by 20% for all power attribute allies. So we're moving 30% faster and our strong attacks are doing 20% more damage. And of course with the um, Momo's, you know, just boost on our SA2 skill, that's going to be great as well to help out with our damage. And not to mention, those are both super pot units. So them being super pot units and being having the support skills that they have, you know, just it will make any um, co-op IT content easy. <laughs> Now, as far as the power attribute goes, um, the support units are good, but you know they aren't. They're only like seasonal units, like the uh, the Momo. She's obviously a swing suit unit, and that Yumi Shika was a banner banner unit. So you know that's I guess technically a seasonal banner as well. So he really won't be in the um. Oh, what is it called? Premium ticket. So yes, uh, the power attribute does have some good support units, but you know they're harder to come by than they would be if they were like premium units. And uh, let's see, the power attribute does have some heavy hitters as well. Obviously, you have this uh, this Bruno who's still relatively good. Uh, the Thousand Year Blood War Yamamoto, obviously he's great. The new Future Society Okira, he's good and. Let's see, any other one? Uh, the 8th anniversary of Ichigo, he's a, well, I don't have him, but I'm pretty sure he's a great unit just from looking at his skills. He has frenzy plus 3, so his contact is going to be doing a lot of damage. 
Uh, let's see. The I think the spears are forever with you, Mayuri. He's a power unit. I think he's good. He's okay. And I'm pretty sure there are some other power units that I can't remember right now off the top of my head, but you know, power attribute is definitely that. So far, so good. Uh, yeah. Even without our full spam, we're still doing a good amount of damage, but you know, he is not. And yeah, unfortunately, um, these banners don't really come around all too often anymore. So, you know, uh, if we do get a Burn the Witch unit, these units should, you know, just be in the no feature um, banner. If we end up still getting a Burn the Witch banner in the future. As well as our Halloween ones, uh, they're coming up on the year old, but, you know, they should be in there as well. I do think they should probably bring back those Burn the Witch banners more often just so people have a chance to get these units if they miss them. But maybe not anytime soon because you know it is close to the anniversary and so we're gonna save up your orb. So try to pull for the anniversary unit because they'll no doubt be very good. Already played a soul bomb so we'll skip the rest of the video. Now without our force we didn't play that much. Yeah, he's a pretty old unit, so having four him here is definitely helped out. Yep, taking a while to clear with no full stem. There's that last hit survival. Um, where that goes? There. Took a while, but we got it. Uh, another thing about this Bruno is, uh, Believe it or not, I did play Arena back when I first started playing this game. I kind of stopped because it was just, eh. But anyways, this unit was really um, great for the Arena. Uh, that last hit survival help as well, and I think this unit gets Frenzy Plus 2 when he's in Arena. I'm not too sure. Like I said, it's been a while since I last played it, but back when I did use him, yeah, he was definitely really good. So if you're someone that plays Arena, uh, I think this is still an okay unit for it. So I'm not sure what the meta is in Arena right now, or even if there is a meta going on. But you know, obviously if this unit does have killer, he would be doing a lot more. So with this unit having two killers, it's great. You know, just uh, Soul Reapers and the Rankers, you know, those are some good killers to have and kill mostly fight those type of enemies. Uh, he is better off going up against Soul Reapers uh, just because of the VA does have a 50% chance to dodge their attack. So his, the best, you know, um, enemies to take him up against are Soul Reapers. And uh, yeah, so Soul Reapers are his, you know, the, the best to take him up against. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I really don't have anything else to say about this unit. Pretty much killed everything except for the dodge since there's a Soul Reaper here. Uh, as for a strong attack, they're not that bad. It's not anything metal like, you know, the 3000 Wisdom Beam with the 1020 Wisdom for that Tracking Vortex strong attack. He still has some relatively good. Oh, there goes that last hit survival again. We lost our uh, With the links we have, our full stem is at 91%, but we can obviously get more. I th there is a 30% full stem of damage on um, full stem link. I just decided not to use them because, you know, I kind of like to have a good balance of full stem and with strong type of dust link on my character. Alright, so that was a brief showcase of the Burn the Witch Bruno. Overall, um, yeah, he's still a great unit with two great killers. And as for his skills, you know, a ranged unit that has a chance to dodge Soul Reapers hits is definitely good as well. Friends are plus two, so, you know, his um, flash stats will, you know, just take him a little bit more distance. Flash did survival. If you just somehow so happen to die, then you have that to rely on to get back up. 
Frenzy and Bombardment are at plus one, so with the Bombardment, his Soul Bomb will be hitting hard. Having Poison is good too, so you don't get staggered Sharpshooter as well. And the hit hidden enemies there, you know, is just pretty much a good bonus. Because there are some Aranker enemies that do hide underground, as well as Soul Reaper enemies as well. So, that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching. As usual, until next time.